Peter Bloomquist from the Global Leadership Forum. Peter, tell us about the Global Leadership Forum itself. The uh, forum is an educational program on leadership and management. We work with uh, emerging and senior leaders who are in some way involved in social purpose work in a global context. So we might have people from business, uh, philanthropists, government, and the civ civic society. And where is it located? It's located here in Seattle. We are right now in the middle of cohort eight. So we've had uh, eight groups come through the program so far. It's an eight-month program. Um, it's very in-depth in terms of both, you know, a lot of the principles and activities and sectors of leadership, whether that be board management, teams, resource development. But we also deal a lot with real-time issues that leaders face. And one of our most uh, common activities is to ask our cohort members what keeps you up at night. Yeah. And then we, we sort of as a community of colleagues, of peers, we work together on the issue, on reframing the issue, and on seeking solutions. Is there a common answer? There is not a common answer. There are common problems. What are the common problems that you find? I think that uh, oftentimes there are issues related to, you know, a, lot of, a lot of the real most difficult issues come down to people and relationships, whether it's between staff and board, whether it's between a team, uh, teams working well together. Um, that's, a, that's a big problem that most people place. Um, the second problem is uh, resource development. You know, it's a busy, competitive world, and um, you know everybody knows it's, the, the, it's becoming a more and more a global world. We have all these interconnections. Well, there's a lot of competition, and you know leaders need to be good at knowing sort of what they do and why it matters. So hopefully, we're able to help people improve those abilities. And who would be someone who you think, if they're watching right now, should be interested in becoming, uh, trying to become a part of a cohort? I'd say it's anybody who has um, leadership uh, challenges, who is interested in kind of a broad overview over eight months. It's, so it's a, it's a long-term program. I think that's one of the things that really gives it added value because the cohort really gets to know each other well. So people who are interested in sharpening their leadership and management skills over a period of time in a cohort-based educational program. And I think the fact that we are together for eight months on a monthly basis uh, helps us all, helps the cohort really become a true community. And I think a, you know, a big problem leaders have is if you're a leader, uh, say in the nonprofit arena, you know, you're reporting up to your board of directors and you're reporting down to your team. But who do you talk to when you have a big problem? And it's really, really hard. It's really difficult. It's really perplexing. You know, it's very difficult. Leader leadership can be a lonely place. So we hope that our program provides a community, a cohort, a group of peers who can work together and support each other. The interesting thing is after our first cohort, we finished the eight-month program and the group said, we don't want to stop. Can we keep going? So we said, okay, and we, we continued with what we called continuing conversations. And that's hap that happened for the next five cohorts. And then we realized we were just getting too busy with that. So we're, we're, we now are, are the, the alumni of the Global Leadership Forum now is, is forming a community. So the community will continue to meet together and support each other. So the idea is, you know, leadership, there's hard skills. There's the things you need to learn, knowledge base, all that. And then there's the softer skills. How do you actually make things happen? How do you understand people, relate to them, yeah. understand and motivate them? And how do you work in community? You know, I think that's, that's an opportunity a lot of leaders don't have, which is to work with a close, trusted uh, circle of colleagues on some of their deepest, toughest challenges. What makes it global? Um, the nature of the work that our cohort members are doing. So. Most of the time that means, say it's, if it's Starbucks, say here in Seattle, you know, it's Starbucks people who are working on their overseas uh, corporate social responsibility initiatives. For NGOs, for nonprofit organizations, similar. Although, a lot of, there's also a lot of global that comes to here, comes home, is local. We've got refugee communities, immigrant communities in this in the Seattle area, in our community, there's there, and you know, in education, 
is both a local and a global function. So um, there's different ways, I guess, that people have a global piece to their work, but that is the sort of comp the defining. Mm -hmm. Two more quick questions. Uh, number one, I walk out of there after eight months. What do I expect from myself? I would hope that you would expect from yourself that a you have some you have some you've learned some or refreshed some skills and you have some specific plans on how to deal with some of the issues and problems that you have as a leader or opportunities. Two, you would feel like, you know, from here on out you have a cohort of colleagues that is there that's going to con be support you and continue to support you and that that that, that those two things combined would give you end of the day a sense that a sense of hopefulness a sense that I have there's reasons to believe that I and we can do a better job of reaching out and making the world a better place and then finally if people want to know more what do they do um, they should uh, go to our website it's uh, glfglobal.org fantastic Peter thank you very much thank you rainmaker believes we can change